So really quickly, I wanted to show you these new uh, ice anchors I got from uh, Deep Freeze. So this is the Deep Freeze anchor here, and this is the uh, standard Eskimo ice anchor that I have. They seem very similar in diameter. Uh, the one thing I noticed is these uh, Deep Freeze have like a cutting edge cut through here where the uh, Eskimos don't. And I hope, kind of hope Eskimos watching this because I've had issues with these going into the ice, um, especially with the drill adapter. You know, I, I put down quite a bit of pressure. Um, you know, I tried low speed, high speed, and it just seems to just spin. It's not digging in. So I don't know if there needs to be a better cutting edge um, to start this out. I don't want to deal with pilot holes. I know a pilot hole will work, but I don't want to mess with that. So I'm hoping these uh, deep freeze anchors will just go in without any effort with this uh, cutting edge in here. Also, deep freeze has this uh, cutting, er, deep freeze has this adapter here, quick chuck, which fits into the uh, deep freeze adapter you know, locks in there positively, so then I can just switch out between this and, uh, you know, my pistol bit fits right in there. So, makes it very convenient. And sorry I'm doing this in my garage right now, it's really windy today, and I thought I'd do this in a controlled environment here, so um, I'll put this adapter back on. This was one of the big reasons I wanted to do the the deep freeze so these fit right in the only thing i wish it would have had is it's not a it's not a positive lock you know it just slips in and out whereas the uh the adapter here actually works like a, a quick coupler you know it's not coming out of there until you use that spring loaded mechanism i wish i wish these anchors would have had this uh locking mechanism. That's like it's a huge deal, but um, sometimes you want those locked in there, you know, but now they will come out. There is some friction there, so it'll stay pretty good in there, but it doesn't lock, so. Deep Freeze also has the, uh, the T here, so you can wrap your strap around there for wind or whatever, so. Uh, let's head down to the ice, and let's just uh, try these out. I haven't tried these in the ice yet, so uh, let's run down there and just quick spin them in and uh, do a test between the, the deep freeze and the Eskimo. All right, so I just figured I'd come down to the river here, try to get out of the wind a little bit. Looks like somebody's, somebody's been fishing around here a little bit. Nobody out here today, so uh, let's just try this quick here. Let's start off with the, uh, the Eskimo. And uh, this is all kind of trampled down slush here, so um, should give us a pretty good idea. Again, one thing nice about that is it locks in there, but that does not lock in there. So we're just going to see how this goes. I'm going to go in uh, speed one. Speed one, just to give it the best uh, chance here. By the way, I had a lot of people ask the last video about these gloves from Stryker. These are Stryker Stealth. Super nice. You can use your uh, smartphones with the fingers and uh, doesn't lose your uh, dexterity at all. So, all right, let's try this out. Okay, see, it's just, it is not biting. That anchor is not biting. And it seems to uh, fill up with ice there. That's the problem I'm having. And it's not just one, it's like all of them are doing the same thing. So let me just try this again. Just so I'm fair. I mean, I'm putting quite a bit of, pre quite a bit of, quite a bit of pressure on there. And it's just... Uh, just fills with ice. I, I don't, I'm not sure, I don't get it. Eskimo, you might want to look into that. All right, let's try this uh, deep freeze. 
like I said once again, this one has kind of a, a cutting edge, you know, just notched in there. So we'll give this a try, see if we get better results. I mean, kind of speaks for itself. Uh, with this T, you know, you don't have to use a drill to pull these out. I actually think it's easier just to just to spin these out by hand, but you can obviously use the drill to pull it out too. Try that again. Yeah, see it doesn't lock in there, so another thing to keep in mind. Goes in there pretty quick. You can see it kind of uh, nicks the ice around there, but it's nice and solid, so Again, you can just reverse it out of there too. So just for the heck of it, let's try uh, speed two here. And we'll, uh, we'll go back to the Eskimo. Maybe what we'll try next is, uh, we'll try this old hole here. Should be some pretty solid ice. We'll do one in here. These adapters are a little cumbersome. Okay, I guess that's not gonna work. I guess that hole's not too old. <laughs> Alrighty then, good thing I didn't lose it. All right, let's, let's move over here where there's some snow maybe. Try that, try speed two. Well, yeah. Alrighty then, don't use uh, speed two with this uh, Eskimo anchor. Good lord! <laughs> Alrighty then. So much for that. Let's uh, try speed two with uh, the deep freeze. Holy! That's fast. All right, let's try that again. Whoa. <laughs> All right. Might be a little dangerous to catch your fingers in there or something, but that's fast. Try this again. Kind of fun. Put it back and forward, stupid. All right, so yeah, I bought uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see how fast we can put these seven anchors in. I know it's not about speed, but it's definitely convenient. There's seven. That's pretty fast. Let's pull them out. It's really windy out here. Hopefully my audio is doing okay. There you go. Seven. Uh, to me, it's an easy winner. Actually, it gonna have to be a winner now since I destroyed this thing so uh, deep freeze highly recommended they're a little pricey but uh, I'm sure they'll stand by them you'll have them for a long time